What's going on guys? John the Video Guy here. Welcome to the channel. In this Premiere Pro tutorial, I'm going to be going over three different techniques that you can use when you're animating text inside Premiere Pro. Let's dive in. So the first technique is that you can use Easy E. So say if I have this beach text here and I want to animate it, what I can do is just go to the beginning of the clip, click on our text layer, go up to Effects Controls, and under the Motion parameter, click the stopwatch, then click out onto your timeline, and then hold down Shift and the right arrow, and each time you click, you move forward five frames. So this is a nice, helpful tip. Do this two more times so you're 15 frames forward, click back on the layer, go back into Effects Controls, and hit the diamond to make a keyframe. Then go back to the original and then move the X value of the position to the left. You can hold down shift to make it go a little quicker. And now we have an animation when we play this back. But we can ease this out by marquee selecting these keyframes here, right clicking and going to temporal interpolation and then click on Bezier. This will make them easy ease, adding ease and curves to each side of the keyframe. But we can fine tune this a little bit if we click the drop down arrow. We'll zoom in by hitting the plus button on our keyboard, move this over, and when we click on these keyframes, you'll notice the little handlebars appear, and we can kind of fine tune the animation. So you can click on the handlebar and move this in and out to kind of ease in more on the keyframe. And when we play this back, you'll see what we have it's a lot more smoother. Now the second tip that I have for you guys is what if you just want the text to just reveal itself out of kind of like thin air, kind of like this. That's the next technique I'm gonna show you guys and that's inside the Essential Graphics panel. So to get there, click on your text layer and go into your workspaces, captions and graphics. And to the right you should see Essential Graphics. Click on the edit button and inside the program monitor, click on your text. Now to accomplish this, what we're gonna do is actually select the rectangle tool. And what we'll do is draw a new shape. That is essentially our mask. Click and drag to create a new shape icon inside the program monitor. And you'll notice in the top right, you'll see a new shape layer added. Now to turn this into a mask, what you wanna do is go down to this button called mask with shape. And this will essentially put the text inside that shape layer. Now, as you can see, if we click on the text layer and we move it inside the essential graphics panel, it's with inside that shape. Pretty cool, right? So what we'll do is go up into our effects controls and we'll twirl down the beach layer and we'll scroll down to position and we'll create a keyframe by hitting the stopwatch, go forward in time, create another keyframe, go back, and then we can just animate this down so it's coming from the bottom. And very similarly, we can add some easy ease to this. Feel free to fine tune it. But as you can see, we have a nice animation. All right, and the third technique for animating text inside Premiere Pro, I'm actually using a plugin that's completely free. It's called Animation Composer. And I highly recommend downloading this. This is a really powerful plugin, not only for Premiere Pro, but for After Effects as well. A link down in the video description is there for you if you are interested. But what's most powerful about this is that you can't really do inside Premiere Pro quite easily is animate individual letters or characters. So I'm gonna demo this inside Premiere Pro once you have it downloaded in the link. What you'll wanna do is go up to Window, Extensions, Premiere Composer. And then you'll wanna untwirl Starter Pack, Text Presets, and you can choose one you want. Once you find something, you can click Add, and it'll basically generate a graphic for you. And you'll have a few options. It acts very similar to a Mogart file if, you're, if you understand how those work and you can change different parameters. So we get something that's very similar to what we had before. So that pretty much does it for this tutorial, guys. If you wanna learn more about text layers and maybe how to make them pop from the background a little bit more, I did make another tutorial going over that. I'll link that one right up there. Feel free to go watch that. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching, guys, and we'll see you next time.